So there you have it, WWE TLC is in the record books, tables out of chairs and stairs 2014. Now I'm able to give you guys my thoughts and opinions and as well my review on the show and getting right into it with the first match with the kickoff match where we had the New Day and as well that's why we were able to have Stardust and Goldust and in the end Kofi Kingston and as well Big E were able to get the win over Stardust and Goldust. Now originally I had Stardust and Goldust to actually be able to get the win but of course that was not the case. And uh, that's how we started things overall for the kickoff match. Then we get into the main card, which I thought we started off with a great match. We had the ladder match for the United Canada Championship between Dolph Ziggler and as well Luke Harper. Uh, both guys doing really well too with the ladders and everything. Really nice usage of that as well. So definitely highly one of my favorite matches of the night. And uh, getting into that, we have Dolph Ziggler now, the new... In the kind of champion, so Dolph Ziggler getting his IC championship back over Luke Harper. So I think this feud might be able to continue, and it's an interesting story between these two. So I, I don't think they're done yet, and we'll probably see another match at the Royal Rumble or something like that. So who knows? We'll see what happens with that. Then we got the tag team titles, which are on the line. We had the Miz and as well Damian Mizdow and as well the Usos. Now with this one, this one could have been a lot more better. I didn't really care for the ending where the Miz actually used the Slammy to actually be able. To get the win with the disqualification. I don't really care for those in pay per view. I don't mind it on, you know, Raw and SmackDown, but not as much. You know, it can be here and there, but not so often. So, obviously, this feud is going to continue. And we're going to be seeing uh, what's going to be happening now with Naomi. Now, is she going to still be dealing with the Miz or whatever? So, uh, we'll see what's happening with that as well, uh, overall as well. Then with that one, of course, we get into the stairs match, the first ever stairs match, if you will, between Eric Rowan and the Big Show. Now with this one, I didn't really care for it all that much, nor was I really the biggest fan. And, uh, you know, on paper, you know, it sounded alright, but it was really okay, nothing really far too special. These two actually tried their best to deal uh, with the steel stairs uh, at their advantage as much as they could overall but uh in the end the big show was able to get the win over eric rowan and there you have it with that then we had the tables match which i was actually surprised it was really during the middle of the show i thought it would be like the co-main event if you will we only had john cena and seth rollins in this one and this one i thought it was a good match for what it was here and in the end we also had uh jamie Nable and his little jerry mercury trying to help out seth rollins in this one at one point we almost uh, really didn't get to see a, a proper winner, so we had to draw in that point. And basically, in a way, uh, type of feel like what happened with the Royal Rumble 2005 with John Cena, Batista, that type of deal. But this time with tables, of course. So, uh, not only that, the match was restarted, which is a great move there. And then, in the end, we also had uh, the Big Show uh, able to try and help out Seth Rollins there. But then we had the return of Roman Reigns, which was able to help out John Cena. So, we'll probably see like a tag team match or something going on there as well. So, something going on with Roman Reigns and as well uh, Seth Rollins as well with the Big Show type of thing and uh, we'll see what happens with that but in the end John Cena does get the win not really all that surprised and now we'll be able to get John Cena and as well Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble and it's looking to be the final match between the two to sell the score basically so uh, there you have it with that and it was pretty much expected at that point then we had the Divas Championship which is on the line I actually enjoyed this too better than the Survivor Series match it lasted a little a bit longer where we had Nikki, Be um, Nikki Bella actually uh, retaining her Divas Championship so uh, we'll see what's going to be happening with AJ Lee now and I don't know if the feud is going to be continuing with those two or not but like I said before I don't see AJ Lee leaving I think she's uh, pretty content on what's been going on and still going to be able to see other things from her so I don't see her leaving whatsoever that's just me and how I feel about it Definitely leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments section. Uh, then we had the chairs match between Ryback and Kane. This one was actually surprisingly good. And, uh, you know, this one, like I said, did surprise me for what it was where we had Ryback defeating Kane. At one point, I thought Kane was going to get the win with the choke slam and as well. Almost had the tombstone there as well. Uh, rumors now are looking to have The Undertaker possibly coming back. That's just all a rumor as of right now. Who knows? I would like to see it happen and probably make maybe have his final run but I'll probably talk about that on uh, in another video at some point as well so there you have it with that Ryback was able to get the defeat 
over Kane. Then we had the US title match, which really wasn't far too much special. It was okay. Rusev was able to get the win overall, and uh, there you have it with that. So he was able to retain the US title and still be dominant, like he said on Twitter. And there you have it with that. And then the main event, which I thought was a great match, when we had Dean Ambles and as well Bray Wyatt really uh, going all out, basically uh, using the ladders, of course, and the chairs and the tables to the advantage. And he got uh, really awesome with a spot where uh, Dean Ambrose actually uh, did the elbow drop from the ladder, uh, one of the bigger ladders. He was going to go for the really huge one, but he couldn't really pick that up, so <laughs> that's understandable and everything like that. So these two uh, actually really did their all, and I enjoyed this one. And in the end, actually, Bray Wyatt was able to get the win. I was crazy how that television monitor actually short circuited on Dean Ambrose, so that's what kind of like screwed him over basically. Kind of sucks on that part. I would love to see Dean Ambrose get the win, but really I'm not disappointed when it comes to that overall. So Dean Ambrose overall uh, didn't get the win, but Bray Wyatt was able to get his win at WWE TLC tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs, and that pretty much concluded for the rest of the show. So overall, wasn't really the best show. I've seen other better WWE TLC uh, pay-per-views, so uh, with this one, I would say it was a pretty good show overall for me and my personal opinion. Definitely leave your thoughts and opinions down below on how you felt about the pay-per-view and all so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoy your christmas holiday and as well your new year's and of course i'll most likely be back in time for the new year for 2015 so um there you have it with that uh like i said hopefully you guys enjoy your holidays and as well enjoy the rest of your night as well with that being said and until then i'll catch you guys in the next video whenever the hell that may be peace